The Chargers had been averaging over 350 yards of offense per game, but the Broncos never even allowed them to get started last Sunday. At the end of the first half, the demoralized San Diegans had amassed an offensive total of 50 yards. For number 14, Dan Fouts, it was a day nothing could go right even when his end of the business was right on. Number 36, Bill Thompson, took Wayne Stewart's bobble for the first of two interceptions he would have for the afternoon. It's actually hard to find fault with Fouts as his second interception once again bounced out of a receiver's hands into Mr. Thompson's obviously more receptive grasp. It was a fine all-around performance by the Denver Team D as they held the Chargers to 84 yards on the rushing ledger. While the San Diego offense sputtered, the Denver offense rolled behind the inspiring runs of number 44, Floyd Little. With Little free of ankle problems and number 12, Charlie Johnson, recovered from nagging injuries, the Broncos moved 80 yards on their first possession. At the five, Dr. Johnson eased a pass to number 88, tight end Riley Odoms, who scored made it seven nothing Broncos. In the second quarter, the Broncos added a little more complexity to their attack, when Charlie Johnson flipped a lateral pass to Billy Van Heusen, who in turn passed to Riley Odoms for a 41-yard pickup. On the six-yard line, Floyd Little took an inside counter for a 14-0 Denver advantage. But Floyd's biggest thrill of the day came on a simple swing pass. Number 40, Joe Beauchamp, missed the tackle. And number 44 had himself a foot race. At 32 years of age, Floyd may have lost a step or so, but he still squeezed 72 yards out of that little bitty swing pass. From the 10-yard line, Charlie Johnson handed off to number 24, Otis Armstrong, who slipped through a knot of tacklers into the San Diego end zone en route to a 27-7 Denver victory.